The chair recognizes the gentleman from Arkansas. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In 2012, an award of $8 million was provided to design and build a 1.8 megawatt solar uh, system at the John L. McClellan VA Medical Center in Little Rock, Arkansas. It's been almost two years since that plan activation was to begin operating. However, reports in our local media have indicated that there's additional engineering and it's not functioning and it's not operational. Further, sections of the solar panels for this system are now being torn down in order to be relocated to make way for a parking lot that was planned before the solar panels were begun their installation. Many questions remain unanswered about this project. And when the VA plans to fully implement this supposed cost-saving system to provide energy for the facility. Further, I found from the VA's own website a list of 40 key energy projects that are designated work in progress by the VA under its key renewable energy program. Some of these date back to 2010, and yet they have not been completed and not made operational. There are over 90 solar projects that have been funded under this program and 198 projects funded under the VA's Green Management Program. Some of these projects individually have cost the taxpayers up to $20 million. The Little Rock project is only protect, projected to save $150,000 annually in energy costs, which make the payback on that $8 million investment some 50 years. On April 8th, I sent a letter to Secretary McDonald asking for answers about these solar systems in Little Rock particularly and about the relocation of the panels at the facility and the activation date. Senator John Bozeman and I have called for an IG investigation into this project and other aspects of the key renewable energy program and ensure that taxpayers' hard-earned dollars are safeguarded. This amendment would simply prevent any new funding for these projects this fiscal year, allowing Congress the additional time to conduct oversight and allowing the VA to ensure that this program is effective. It's essential that we demand accountability and transparency when utilizing taxpayer dollars for these kinds of government projects. I urge the passage of this amendment to serve the balance of my time. Gentlemen, reserves the balance of